everyone, I'm Simon Harris and welcome to the fifth episode of the vlog. Today I'm at Teeds speaking to Rachel Arch, one of Programmatic's leading ladies. Rachel has a really, really interesting point of view on Programmatic because she's worked on both the buy and the sell side. In fact, she's way more interesting than me. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera over to Rachel. I'm Rachel Arch, um, Head of Programmatic at Teeds. I've been with Teeds for about 18 months. Um, I joined from, from Yahoo. The reason why I left Yahoo was at that time, uh, it was during the acquisition of Verizon and there was some uncertainty around the direction of that business. Teeds were looking to, to transition their business over from managed service to programmatic. So I saw that was you know the right role for me. And also the brand, everyone knows who Teeds is. We're a fantastic format. And yeah, it was, it was a good move for me at the time. I wouldn't say that Teeds has ever been an ad network. I think when we were eBuzzing, we traded more managed service. Since eBuzzing merged with Teeds, um, we're definitely more of a one-stop ad tech solution. Um, I suppose from the UK perspective, we now trade 70% programmatically, which you know, means that we're, we're fully transparent. Um, we've got a huge engineering resource over in Montpellier, and they're really driving our innovation. Everything from our algorithm to our direct integrations with our DSPs, data, um, brand safety. Uh, if you look at where we've created our um, Teed Studio Arm, our creative platform, it gives advertisers the opportunity to use data, using DCO, you know, right message, right time, as well as voice recognition advertising, um, as well as chatbot. So being able to give the advertiser a chance to, to speak with their, their customers directly. Um, Teed Studio has also given us the opportunity to move into the, the display space. So where we're utilising all those publisher relationships we've had with InRead Video, we can now give advertisers the opportunity to create um, rich media um, bespoke formats for, for display as well. Both for us, this is a pretty unique in market. We can trade everything um, programmatically, so transparently. Um, so I think it's a fantastic thing for, for us to be shouting about. Right, mate, so got you. Not an ad network. <laughs> Not an ad network. So for, for us, I would say it's paid social. Um, if you look at the video landscape at the moment, 52% of that um, last year was outstream. So it's been an amazing year um, as far as the outstream market's concerned. I suppose when we go in and we speak to investment and to planning teams, they want to sort of look at how they move away from the, uh, the triopoly um, and then look to us as, as a sort of an extra or kind of the fourth part of that. Uh, interesting question, Simon. Um, so Teeds is still the number one, still growing um, with quality. If you look at the UK, we now have the ability to reach 82% uh, of the market, that's 42 million people. If you look at where we've come from 2015, we are still the number one outstream um, marketplace out there. I suppose if you look at some of the publishers that, that we work with, we are, you know, we have priority with the likes of ESI, the likes of Trinity Mirror, um, Media Force, as well as CNN, and other partners that we work with, so Bauer, Condé Nast, The Economist, you know, and many, many more. Um, publishers really enjoy working with us. We've been around since 2011. We're, we're really easy to work with, as well as sort of ad.text, which is coming into fruition, um, means that we're fully transparent. So it's a very safe environment for both the buyer, um, the buyers and the publisher side of things. Okay, so lots of uh, high quality scale through teeth then. Yep. No issues, cool. Okay, so we've already talked about scale. Within this, one of the biggest challenges in auction trader video inventory is viewability. How does Teeds address this? So there's two sides to our business. We've got the supply side, so I suppose it's working with the publishers to ensure that the user experience is still kept the priority, so ensuring that where our format is on the page, but also acknowledging that from a buyer side of things, it's important for, for everything to be in view, I suppose, for us. It's, we, um, the way you implement our format, we only register when we're 50% in view, IAB standards. We also have the ability at connection level to change that to 100% 100% in view. We also have a number of different type players to, to allow us to meet the KPIs set 
by, by advertisers, including our new smart format, which allows us to register 100% in view and then hit your um, CTR metrics as well. So the key thing is that Teens is fully transparent. It means that although we don't promote cherry picking, we do work with our with the advertisers and our partners to ensure that they're happy with the white list that they're working on. Um, secondly to that, we're integrated directly with Double Verify and with IAS. And then thirdly, you have the ability to um, to apply grape shark keyword, like negative keyword targeting at connection level. So we do that for both the advertisers as well as when we're working with the DSPs, so anything on our open exchange. So we you know, we try really hard to be to be as brand safe as possible. I suppose a bit of a story on that is we had a really terrible June, um, unfortunately, in this country. And what we did as a business is we instantly took out all news titles from um, our deal IDs as soon as anything detrimental happened. You know, we don't want our brands to be put in that situation. And we, had to, we, you know, we notified the publishers as well. We all worked together to make sure that everyone was happy with what, what was being ran and where it was being ran. Right, so I think it's fair to say that the ad tech industry isn't as diverse as it should be. So what advice would you give to the next generation of women leaders in programmatic when moving through the ranks? I'd say just be yourself and don't actually worry too much about your gender. You know, if you're interested in ad technology, um, you know, remain interested. Keep reading. Um, I watched a programme the other day that Karen Blackett was on and she said that actually 50-50% of the whole of the media industry intake was, was fair split between men and female. But actually, further up the ranks and the decision makers at the top, there was probably only 30% of women. I think you've got to just look at, you know, what is going on at the moment, there's a huge movement in the industry and, and globally actually, you know, making equality um, a, a topic that is being spoken about. I suppose if you look at, you know, the words of Aretha Franklin, she said that behind every great man there's a great woman, but actually it's a greater man that actually brings that woman next to her and, and empowers her. So yeah, and I think that, you know, Teeds is a great place and we're trying to push all the women in the business to, uh, you know, on the right track for their careers as well. Okay, that's it from me for now. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe on YouTube, give it a share on LinkedIn. I want to say a huge thanks to Teeds for having us here today, and even bigger thanks to Rachel for answering my questions. Keep your eyes peeled for new videos, and I'll see you in the next one.